If the Belarusian army supports Russian aggression, we will respond, with our entire arsenal of weapons. The warning comes as Russia is sending thousands of troops back to Belarus, prompting fears the two countries could be planning a joint incursion across Ukraine's northern border. That would be politically risky for Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko, and Russian forces are already struggling to hold their current lines around the southern city of Kherson and in Donbass in the east. But the prospect alone is a distraction and a concern for Kyiv as Minsk comes under pressure from Moscow to step up its support. I think Putin really wants Belarusians to enter Ukraine so that Lukashenko is bloodied, too and will have to go to the end with him, is how Valery Sakashchik, the former commander of an elite paratrooper unit, reads the recent moves. Now in Warsaw, he is effectively the defense minister in a transitional cabinet of the Belarusian opposition in exile. The fuss was sparked when, after meeting Russian President Vladimir Putin earlier this month, Alexander Lukashenko claimed that Belarus's neighbors were planning to attack. He then announced that Minsk and Moscow were forming a joint regional group, of forces for protection. Mr. Sakashchik puts the risk of the two countries opening a northern front in Ukraine as one in three, currently. But he describes the longtime leader of Belarus as a, wily, operator. Lukashenko will do everything possible not to send his troops to fight, to limit them to a supporting role, but there is certainly a threat. Belarus is already heavily involved in the Ukraine war. In February, Russian tanks crossed its southern border towards Kyiv and Russia regularly launches missiles from Belarusian territory. The EU is currently preparing another punishment package of sanctions in response. But if President Putin is pushing him for more, Mr. Lukashenko has limited room for maneuver. The authoritarian leader has been dependent on Russia since 2020, when support from Moscow helped him survive an unprecedented wave of protests. Meanwhile, the mass imprisonment and torture of protesters hammered one nail in the coffin of relations with the West. Belarus aiding Russia's invasion was another. Mr. Lukashenko says up to 9,000 Russian soldiers will come to Belarus for the new group, but sending Belarusians alongside them into Ukraine would be a deeply unpopular move. Several hundred Belarusians are already fighting in Ukraine, against Russia. Known as the Kalinovsky Regiment, they openly say they joined the war to defeat Vladimir Putin so that Belarus, too, can be free. There is also resistance inside Belarus where partisans sabotaged railway lines at the start of the invasion to hinder the movement of Russian troops. Last week, another of the group was sentenced to 11 years in prison. I get lads writing and saying we don't want to fight, against Ukraine. Pavel Kupta, of the Kalinovsky Regiment, told me at their recruitment base in Warsaw. My sources in the Belarusian army say 90% won't fight. They say the training's bad and kit and morale are even worse than the Russian army. There have been rumors of a secret mobilization in Belarus, but nothing substantiated. Meanwhile, Russian forces are already on the move. Ukrainian intelligence reports that 3,200 Russian soldiers have been sent to Belarus to date. More are expected, but it is a trickle not a rush and so far they are heading for northern and central parts of the country, rather than the Ukraine border. They don't bring any heavy equipment, there was just one train loaded with pontoon bridges but no tanks or personnel carriers, Belarusian journalist Tadeusz Gitchin also points out. He believes the Russians are actually being sent for training, with their own facilities overstretched since President Putin announced a partial mobilization. They need more capacity. Belarus offered to provide it and perhaps kill two birds with one stone. Threaten Ukraine with a potential new offensive from the north, it's just a bluff. The Russian men shown in Belarusian defense ministry videos appear to be, Mobiki 